In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to connect a DC battery, for example, 12 volt battery, to a day night switch and then to a load. Over here, I have a 12 volt floodlight. Here is a 12 volt DC globe, another 12 volt globe, and these will be considered my load. I have an example of a day-night switch. These are DC day-night switches, meaning that they work with a DC voltage on the input side. And I've got another one over here, and then I've got a different one over here. And I will demonstrate how to connect both of these should you need a DC day-night switch. Now, in order to get a DC supply, we would use a battery. For example, this is an 18 amp hour 12 volt battery. It's quite a large one. And this is a backup power supply. The output from the power supply is 12 volts, while well, a little bit more than that. But the point is, is this is a DC voltage, which will then be fed into a day night switch, which will then be used to switch on and off a floodlight, depending on the lumens, which are sitting here at the day night switch. So in the night, the relay inside you operates and it switches on the light. Now over here, I've got another example of a backup power supply. Here, for example, is a power supply. It's actually a faulty power supply, but my DC output is sitting here. So for example, my input would be here, my line voltage, so my 230 volt supply from the utility. But what I'm interested in is the output, which is the DC voltage. Now, one could wire this directly from a 12 volt battery for a reliable application where this works every single day. It's best to run it off a backup power supply. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to wire the day night switch. I've got this one, a three wire day night switch, and then I've got this one, which is a four wire day night switch. I will demonstrate both. Right, before I show the physical wiring, I'm just showing a wiring diagram. There is my supply, my 12 volts in this case. So that would be your lead acid battery or your power supply. So from your battery, here is the positive wire and there's the negative wire. Then on the other side over here, I have my light. So in this case, here is my 12 volt light. One of the wires is positive and one is negative. In this case, the brown wire is positive and the blue wire is negative. The polarity is important. Right over here, I have a 12 volt fluorescent light and it has been wired with a brown and blue wire. And in this case, I'm just considering the brown wire is the positive and the blue wire is the negative. Right, so that's my load side, which will be my light. Now I'm gonna be controlling this with my day night sensor. So there is my day night sensor and notice straight away we have three wires. And over here, I have three wires. Now, every day night switch is different, but the principle remains the same. Now, in this case, they've got the color coding of the wires. Notice it says load is red, white says neut, which is a short for neutral. So that would be my negative. Black, in this case, happens to be the line, which is my positive. So this is the wire that would connect from the battery. So the black, in this case, is the positive, the positive 12 volts and the red is what goes to the light because it says here, load. Okay, so the black was the positive wire, so there we go. So the positive is gonna go straight from the battery to this wire over here. The red is this wire over here. Notice that I've got a positive there, that's the output from the day-night switch or the output from the relay, and it goes to the light. So the positive of the light would go to the positive of the day night switch. Now this wire in the middle here which says neutral or negative is this over here. Notice that the globe or, or the whole luminaire fitting has the same negative wire as the day night switch for this type of day night switch. A little bit later I will be showing this day night switch which has two wires on the input and two on the output. I will also demonstrate how to connect that but for the meantime I'm going to be carrying on with this one. So I've got my positive my negative and the output here of the day night switch going to the positive of my light. Now, just having a look inside the day night switch, I've opened this one up and it can be seen that there's a little LDR, a light dependent resistor over there, and then there's a relay and some electronics. Now, in order for these electronics to work, remember there's a relay there and here's an example of a relay. And what a relay does is we use one circuit to control another circuit. So the relay still requires current to operate. 
Now, where does it get that current from? Well, the day-night switch needs a positive wire and a negative wire, and that is why there are three wires on this day-night switch. So here I have the day-night switch, there's the relay. This relay is rated at 10 amps, which is why on the top here it actually says 10 amps. Right, I'm going to wire this up on my table here with these jumper leads. I'm going from the positive of the battery there to the positive of the day-night switch. There is the positive of the day-night switch. I know that the red wire is usually positive, but in this case the red wire is the output of the day-night switch because it says so on the top. You might find that another day-night switch has different colors. This might be brown and that may be yellow. This may be red and that may be yellow. So the important thing is to go with what the label says. In this case, the black is the line or the positive coming in. Right, so there we go, positive to the positive of the day-night switch. Right, then the output of my day-night switch, there it is. The, in this case, it happens to be a red wire. And in this case, I'm just going to use this uh, floodlight. And the positive, in this case, happens to be my brown wire. Now, because we are working with DC, you might find that the light doesn't work unless you flip the wires around, the polarity. So I will also demonstrate that shortly. So in this case, I'm going positive from the day-night switch. There it goes, the output to the light, the positive of the light. And now I've got a negative. The negative of the light, notice, and the negative of the day-night switch and the negative of the battery are all going to the same place. So there's my negative from my battery going to the negative of my day-night switch and also to the negative of my light. Now everything is off. The reason why it is off is, do you remember there was a little sensor here, a light dependent resistor, and right now there's too much light here on my table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block off that light by putting a cover over this day-night switch. Right, so I've covered the day-night switch and in a short time, this light should turn on when the day-night switch operates. Right, I'm just going to cover it here to just add a bit more darkness. Yeah, there was uh, just needed a bit more darkness. Okay, so there the light is on. If I take this cover off, the light should go off. Light is sensed by the sensor, therefore switching off my floodlight. Right, now what I've done is I've brought another globe here and I'm going to demonstrate a little problem. I've connected the positive, which in this case I'm going to consider is the brown wire, and then the blue, which in this case I'm going to consider is my negative. So according to my diagram, the positive is going to the positive of the day-night switch, which is this one, and my negative is going to the communal negative over here. Right, now I'm going to cover the day-night switch and uh, let's see if the light goes on. Now I'm covering it. Now the light has not gone on. Now what I can do is I can quickly test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking my multimeter and I'm going to measure the voltage here at the globe. Right, so at the globe I'm getting 12.3 volts. So that means that the globe is getting power. Uh, the day-night switch has already operated because if I remove this cover, notice that the day-night switch has now turned off and uh, notice that my voltage here has gone off. So if I bring the cover back and I block the light to the day-night switch, I heard the click from the relay in the day-night switch and there's the voltage. So that means that this globe is not working. So maybe the polarity of the globe is incorrect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these around. And immediately I can see the globe has gone on so the issue here was that the globe connections were wrong. So this is the only thing that one needs to be aware of when working with DC globes is that they are directional. Okay, so now I've demonstrated this day-night switch. I will now demonstrate a day-night switch that uses this type of connection. Right, so this was the one we just did. And now we're going to do one that looks like this. Now notice that I've got my same battery here. This is a 12 volt battery. This is going to be my battery here on the side. And in this case, the day-night switch has two sides. It's got a positive and negative and a positive and negative on each side. Now, yours may even look like this. It may have a DC jack, for example. There we go. All I did is I cut those leads off so that I can hardwire it in my installation. All right, so we've got a positive and negative and a positive and negative. Now, it's very important to have a look if there's any signage on the unit, and there it is. It says input, 
and this side says output. It also says input 12 volts DC, output 12 volts DC 5 amps. You can only open and close a circuit that is rated to a maximum of 5 amps. And but what I'm going to do now is show you how to wire this up. So this is the input side and this is the output side. Right, so in the diagram, I go from the battery, the positive, to the positive of the day-night switch. So that would be the red. Then from the negative of the battery, I go to the negative of the day-night switch, and that would be the black. On the other side, it's very straightforward. I'm connecting the positive to the positive of the light, and the negative to the negative of the light. Now, because I have my light nearby, now I'm still going to use my same light. I know that the brown was positive in this case. Uh, your color coding may be different. I've chosen blue as my negative. So there we go. So I've got my positive and my negative, which is the positive and the negative here to my DC light. And on this side, this is the side that is going to the battery. Now I'm just going to connect it directly to the battery so that you can see that. Right. There we go. It is a 12 volt battery. I can't get a shock like this. And uh, notice positive, negative. Positive, negative, very straightforward. So why is it not working? Because there's too much light. So if I cover it, there's the light going on. Off, on, off. So very straightforward, there you can see. Right, right. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how to connect it to a DC supply. Here I have my backup power supply. There's a positive and negative terminal. I'm going to use the floodlight this time. There's my floodlight. I know the brown is positive in this case. And I'm going to use this one for this installation. So I'm just going to look at the output. The output is positive and negative. So I'm just going to twist the positive and the negative uh, wires. Right, so I've got to keep those away. Ideally, when you do your final installation, rather solder these so that they don't rust or oxidize. One can also use terminal blocks. Now, right, now the input to the day-night switch needs a positive and negative. Now, it's unlikely that you'll have your day-night switch so close to the power supply. This may be in a cupboard, it may be in a server room, for example, and your light would be outside. The, the day-night switch would also be outside, and very important is don't face the light onto the day-night switch, otherwise it will oscillate on and off. So it's always important to have the light facing that way and the day-night switch away from it usually at a much higher level. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on the table. I'm not taping up the wires. I'm keeping them open for explanation purposes. There's the light. And now this would need to be connected to a positive and negative from my power supply, but it's unlikely that I would have the day-night switch so close. So I'll have a fly lead or a wire that is going to be run to the day-night switch. So I just got to make sure that I keep with the polarity. In this case, I'm connecting the red to the red. You might be using a white and black wire, for example. Then just remember that the one wire will be usually the white will be the positive and the black will be the negative. Right, so I've just connected the red to the red, the black to the black. A rule with DC circuit wiring is black is always negative and red is always positive. Right, so all I need to do is wire the positive and negative over here to the output of the supply. Now these are independent 12 volt supplies, so I can pick any one of these and I will just pick the one that is easiest to wire. Right, I've gone positive, negative, how I know which is positive. There is a little positive on the circuit board printed there on the left hand side and a negative on the right hand side, so it's the same for that terminal. And there I've gone positive, negative to the input of my day-night switch. And if I cover the day-night switch, there we can see it is working perfectly. I'll quickly demonstrate how to do it with one of these with a three wire. Right, now with a three wire, the positive and negative, according to the layout here, it says live. So in this case, the black wire goes to the red. So this is my incoming positive to my day-night switch. The negative is this one over here. So it's connected to the black wire of my power supply. So the day-night switch now has power. For example, if I cover it, I can actually hear the click that it makes because now I am covering it. So you can test a day-night switch by covering it. You should be able to hear that click. Then you know at least it's active. Right, now the light, I know the positive is this brown wire. So it's going to go to the red, which is the load wire of the day-night sensor. And then the blue wire is the negative from my light, which is also the negative from my day-night switch. So that joins over here. So notice that the negative has three wires, just like in the diagram three wires at the negative. Right, so there is my wiring for the day-night switch using the three-wire system. And if I cover it, 
uh, the relay has operated and it has worked and when I let light shine onto the LDR, the light dependent resistor, the day night switch obviously switches off the light. All right, so I've showed both day night switches and good luck on your projects. Thanks for watching and cheers.